In the case of Wing Commander Abhinand of the Indian Air Force captured by Pakistan, the determination of whether he is entitled to prisoner of war status and protections is fairly simple. Since the nature of hostilities between Pakistan and India have met the threshold of an armed conflict, therefore international humanitarian law would apply, and this is also known as the law of armed conflict or the law of war. Now, international humanitarian law is primarily found in the Geneva Conventions of 1949, their additional protocols, as well as customary international law. Uh, the third Geneva Convention is devoted specifically to the treatment of POWs, prisoners of war, and has a long list of obligations for the capturing state. These include ensuring medical, ensuring medical treatment, food and water, hygiene, safety and security, all of which Pakistan seems to have provided in this case. Fortunately, the Pakistani soldiers on the ground possessed the, the training and military ethics to immediately rescue Wing Commander Abhinand from the locals in the area, even having to resort to aerial firing to disperse the crowd. They then transported him to a safe location, provided him with medical treatment, food and drink, and have ensured that he is not harassed or paraded in public. Importantly, the Geneva Conventions require that captured soldiers or officers provide certain information to the capturing state. This includes their name, uh, their issued serial number and date of birth, and this is primarily to allow for their identification and to be able to inform their home state of their capture and status. The Geneva Conventions also permit the interrogation of POWs. However, if the POW refuses to answer a question, then he cannot be compelled to answer it through any means of physical or mental torture or any other form of coercion. The videos that have surfaced indicate that this is exactly the protocol that the Pakistani officers followed. They did not pressurize, pressurize him to answer questions he refused to answer. Um, an issue that's arisen is regarding the release of videos. The Geneva Conventions require states to protect an individual against acts of violence or intimidation and against insults and public curiosity. The issue of public curiosity arising out of the release of videos is of some concern. However, we, however, we need to differentiate between videos made by the public and those made by uh, soldiers or members of the Pakistan Armed Forces who are essentially state functionaries. The intent of the videos made by the Armed Forces does not seem to be to humiliate or degrade the Indian pilot. Uh, instead, they seem to be of a nature just to demonstrate his well-being, that he's being taken care of, uh, in accordance with international law. The question of when a POW can be released is subject to the capturing state. Pakistan can release the Indian pilot immediately uh, or at the end of the hostilities. Now, the entire purpose of detaining a POW is to neutralize or limit his, uh, their, their, the, their military potential, which is essentially the ability to attack your state. It is not a means of punishment, and POWs cannot be tried simply for fighting for their country. This protection against prosecution or punishment is known as combatant immunity.